Hey Jesse here, I got another pro tip for you on how to customize the view in SQF Tasselis. Um, this is for a customer of ours and what we're going to do is uh, just talk real briefly about modifying the views of uh, some of the task lists. Of course all the data is inside the list uh, as you can see here with our default view. Um, but let's say that we wanted to update say the uh, upcoming task view because it's not displaying the data in the way that we would like for it to be displayed. So what we would do is we go up to the ribbon in the top under lists and we can actually select the view that we're looking at and then modify this view. Now what I like to do is just deselect everything, uh, create a list of items that I would like to see in this view. So. Uh, I start off with the, uh, we're going to start off with the edit link, we'll do the module, module numbers, uh, the clause so we can look at what this pertains to, uh, conforms or not, just to verify that information, who it is assigned to, the due date associated with this. And then the, uh, we can maybe do status, task status, and status comments there. So I go ahead and save this first and foremost. Uh, and as you can see here, the information has been redisplayed on this view, which is the upcoming tasks. But again, it's not being displayed in the order that we want. The columns aren't in the order that we want. So I would go back to list, modify view, and we're going to make edit number one module number two number number three clause number four assigned to number five due date number six status comment seven Conforms, I'm sorry, conforms. Oh, we'll do conforms as one, two, three, four, five. So I have a little key here that I'm utilizing in order to update these. And we'll go ahead and save that information. And as you can see here, we have the uh, edit link. We have the module that it's associated with, the module number, the actual clause itself, whether it conforms or not, who it is assigned to the due date, uh, we can select this to view this, the comments on the task and then the, also the status of this task here as well. Now it's easy enough if let's say that we wanted to uh, edit this information in regards to what we're seeing. Again, we just come to the list in the drop down and the ribbon at the top and uh, select our view. Maybe we want to modify the my task view and then we're going to go ahead. It'll it'll select the my task view and then we're just going to go ahead and modify that view and we go through the process again of selecting the fields we want to see and then setting the position from left or the order of those fields so hopefully this helped in regards to how to update your task list view uh, if you need any other support please uh, visit us online at razorsharpnetworks.com or uh, give us a call we'll be happy to help